Through this tutorial, you will learn how to view your waitlist enrollment counts, view which students are on your waitlist, and how to contact them through email. We will also go over issuing a faculty override for waitlisted students. First, we will go to the Salt Lake Community College homepage at www.slcc.edu. Click on the My Page login link in the top right corner. Enter in your My Page username and password. If you have not set one up or have forgotten your username and password, you may go through the links below to set that up. For assistance, you may use the tutorial below to help create your username and password. Once you have your username and password, you may enter it in and click login. Once you are logged into your My Page, you can view your waitlist enrollment counts through your faculty tab. Through the faculty portal, in the left hand column, click on the summary class list link. Select the term you wish to view, then click submit. Now select the course you would like to view and click submit. Through this page, you will now see the course information. You will see the enrollment counts, you will see the maximum seats allowed, the number of students enrolled in your course, and the number of seats available. If your course has a waitlist, you will be able to see the maximum spots allowed, the spots taken, and the spots available. To view and access student information on the waitlisted students, simply click on Waitlist. Through the Summary Faculty Waitlist screen, you will be able to view student name and SID, as well as the student's waitlist order. If you notice the word confidential below the student's name, this means the student has requested their information to be restricted. Do not release any information on this student to anyone without written authorization from the student. To access a waitlisted student's email, you will simply click on the email icon to the far right of the summary waitlist. This will open a new email addressed to the selected student. If you would like to email all students on the waitlist, you can click the email icon at the bottom of the summary waitlist. This opens a new email addressed to all the waitlisted students. The option to email waitlisted students allows you to inform them if you expect any seats to open or not. This will also give you the opportunity to resolve any faculty overrides that may be needed. By clicking on a student's name, faculty have access to the student's current address and contact phone number. The waitlist option is available to students registering for a course section filled to capacity. Classes will be set up with 10 waitlist spots. The waitlist will be open through the seven-day ad period. Students registering for a closed class will be offered the opportunity to be put on a waitlist. Students may view waitlist status on the MyPage student portal. Students on the waitlist are not officially registered in the class. When a registered student drops a seat in a closed class, the waitlisted student will be notified by email that a seat is open in the class. Once notified by email that a seat is available, the waitlisted student has 24 hours to register for the course. If registration is not finalized within the 24-hour period, the student is dropped from the waitlist. The next waitlisted student is notified by email that a seat is available. Students are offered an open seat based on their waitlist position. Waitlisted students not meeting required prerequisites or with time conflicts may not register for the class. Instructors may submit a faculty permit override if appropriate. The waitlist function will continue through the seven-day ad period. As registered students drop from the closed class, the waitlisted students will be notified by email that seats are available. Division and department chairs expect faculty to allow the waitlist process to operate as intended. 
rather than adding students by submitting a faculty permit. The waitlist provides an instrument that allows students to register in an equitable registration process.